sponsor reading found in the back of your hymn books, number 698, in the back of the hymn book. <clears throat> also I deliver unto you that the Lord Jesus the same night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he break it and said take hey, eat this, this is, is my body which, which is broken for you this do in remembrance of me after the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped saying this cup is the new testament in my blood this do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he comes. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let every man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily. Eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body all. Now unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible, and the only wise God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Remain standing, please, for the church pledge. Found in your program on the second page or in the back of your pier. You. Put your Bibles held in the air. Since I've got a hymn book, I better change. Put your Bibles held in the air together. I believe in God that created me. I believe in his son that loves me. I believe in his word that changes me. I believe in the Holy Spirit that empowers me. I am his child, born again, heaven citizens, saved by grace. Therefore I will learn, I will love, I will go, I will do, I will feel, I will inherit all that God has planned for me. For I am the body of Christ. Amen. Amen.
Amen.
Reverend Walker, who's going to bring us the morning message. Amen? Amen. 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 Let's welcome him. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Now let's give God the praise. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And, and let me do this before I forget what I sometimes do when we get up here. First, first and foremost, give an honor to God, to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to my pastor in his physical absence but spiritual presence, Amen. Pastor Noah Diggs. Amen. 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 First Lady also, and to those of you that are here. We just thank God for being here. I feel like Peter on the Mount of Transfiguration. It's just good to be here. Amen. 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 Could have been a lot of places. Could have been in jail. Could have been in hell. But it's just good <laughs> to be here. Amen. 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 Don't ever think you're here just because you were that good or that great when you laid down last night and God had to. He didn't, he didn't need to. He had to mm -hmm. allow you to see this day. Amen. Amen. Because the Bible says our righteousness, the stuff that we do good, that we think is good, is as filthy rags. Filthy. Amen. 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 Pastor Diggs wanted me to read a text that he sent to us earlier. So that lets you know even when he's not here, he's still pastoring. Amen. 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 Good morning, family. On the tomorrow last Friday, they buried my pastor, Dr. George V. Clark. It struck me way harder than I thought. It also made me admit that there were some unresolved things that I wish I would have taken time to address. Now the tomorrow of last Saturday, yesterday, is here, and the tomorrow of today looms in the unknown, mm -hmm. awaiting its turn. Let me encourage you to boldly resolve things in the only time that's promised, mm -hmm. and that's the now. Be it resolved, nor Reverend Diggs, Pastor Diggs, in whatever role you see me, know that I love each of you very much and pray for your walk with God. An increase of your faith, the prosperity of your hands, and the effectiveness of your ministry. In our today, we're still here. Let us not be ignorant. Tomorrow happens every 24 hours. Take us, let's take advantage of our now, love now, forgive now, Bless now, reach out now, let's go into tomorrow without regrets. Amen. 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 Pray for a couple of people uh, specifically. <laughs> Brother Noah is in the hospital in San Antonio. He had a stroke. I'm assuming it's pretty major because the family is about to have to make, make some decisions. Uh, Amen. So keep Amen. him in your prayers if you would. And a Sister Mary Brown, who someone informed me used to be a member here. As a matter of fact, they said used to be a real good member here. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And I don't know, but we certainly can send up prayers for each and every one of you. So, Brother would you Nehemiah. join me? Brother Nehemiah. Brother Nehemiah. Yeah. So, would you join me in praying for them earnestly and effectively? The Bible says the effectual fervent prayer yes. Amen. of a righteous man or one man yes. <laughs> availeth much. Amen. 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 And you never know when you may be in need of prayer yourself. Amen. That's right. So it's always good to do what you would do for yourself for someone else. Amen. Amen. Father God, we come before you now. Your word declared that man ought to always pray and not to faint. God, we don't come with a drawback spirit. We don't come back with come with a give up mind. But God, we know that when we pray, you hear us. Yes, Lord. But you said that anything we ask in your son Jesus' name, yes. that you would do it for us. Mm -hmm. So, Father, we're asking now in the name of Jesus name that you would touch Brother Nehemiah. Mm -hmm. God, yes, you know, the doctors are shaking their head and walking away and being confounded and dumbfounded and not knowing what to do and just saying we can't do anything else. God, we thank you. For, yes, Lord, we Lord. realize that you're the manufacturer. Yes. You yes. made us. And we're the product that yes. you made. Yes. So, yes. God, they can only treat, but you yes. can be the healer that he needs right now. Yes. God, there's certainly a vast difference between a doctor and a healer. Yes. Glory yes. to God. We thank you for the doctors, God, but we know that you make all things well. That's what your word says. Yes, so, Father, yes. Brother yes. Nehemiah, Sister Mary Brown, God, we pray now. That the spirit of the living God will invade the space where they are right now. Yes, Lord. That you'll go in and do what only a God like you can do. Well, Save, yeah. deliver, and make free right now. Yes, God, let your healing virtues begin to flow over both of them now. From the yes, crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. Yes, Lord. Glory to God, let healing take place now. Let the warmth of your healing virtues even begin to be an example for them to see that yes. you're yet. In control, even yes, when Lord. man Amen, said Lord. it's a done deal. Yes, so, God, we thank you now. We give you praise now. God, if it's anyone in the congregation that felt like they needed prayer, 
God, we pray that you would touch them now. Yes. You know the thoughts even before they came in. God, you know what's coming out of our mouth even before it comes out. Yes, Lord. So God, do as only a God can do. Yes, Lord. Heal and deliver this day. Yes, Lord. In the precious name of your beloved Son and our Savior, Jesus the Christ, that we pray and ask it all. Thank God. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank you, thank you all for having me. I won't be before you long. I'm not long-winded. Amen. 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 I'm a short-winded Pentecostal now Baptist preacher. Amen. 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 Go to the book of Jeremiah, 18th chapter, if you would, please. If you have your Bibles, if not, there's one on the back of the pew that you're sitting in front of, and you're welcome to use it. Amen? Amen. Because I don't know about you. I, I know the preacher wouldn't, wouldn't lie to me. I know he wouldn't leave me astray, but you know, I, I may read something wrong. Amen. Accidentally. Mm -hmm. I mean, human nature, right? Amen. <laughs> we we are subject to mistakes. Matter of fact, I heard somebody say everyone makes mistakes. And that is so true. Mm -hmm. But the only issue is, uh, Brother Cryer, is when you make a mistake, Jeremiah 18 chapter. When you make a mistake and you continue to make that mistake, that 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 becomes no longer a mistake. Mm -hmm. After two or three times, it's a problem. That's <laughs> it. Amen. <Tom. laughs> and, and you need to deal with that problem. Amen. A mistake is something that you make one time and you learn from it and you never do it again. Amen. I hope that hits you out. But if you keep doing it over and over again, that ain't no mistake. That ain't no mistake. Matter of fact, the doctor call it a habit. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so, you no longer made a mistake. You, you got a problem. That's a habit. And you need to have, have it resolved. Amen. And you don't need to go to AAA for a 12-step program. God is the only step you need. Amen. Amen. You come to him, he deliver you. It's a done deal. Don't cost you nothing. Don't have to have insurance or none of that. Amen. Amen. I, I hope you're there. Are you there? Yes. Amen. Uh, it begins Jeremiah 18, chapter, verse 1. I'm going to read 1 through 6. The Bible declares, the word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, mm -hmm. saying, remember it says to Jeremiah from the Lord, yeah. not, not real mother, saying, arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause thee to hear my words. Mm -hmm. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he brought a work on the wheels, and the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again another vessel, it seemed good to the potter to make. Then the word of the Lord came to me saying, O house of Israel, cannot I do with you as this potter, said the Lord? Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are ye in my hand, O house of Israel. Yes. Amen. And Amen. Amen. Allow me uh, for a few minutes to use the subject, Lord, make me over again. Oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Yes. Lord, make me over again. Again. Mm -hmm. If if we would be honest with ourselves, uh, no matter how long we've been saved or how long we've been claiming to be saved or how long we've been in church trying to be saved and get saved, mm -hmm. there have been a time in our walk from the first time up until this point right now where we made a mistake. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Hello, lights. Amen. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Amen. See Amen. Things. But there have been times in all of our lives that we've done something that God wasn't pleased with. Yes, Amen. yes, yes. Amen. Right. Just because we sit here in the pews and we got the air conditioning blowing and we fanning and we got our Bibles and we just read what the preacher, what the, what the scripture said, does not keep us. From getting out of the will of God. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. Have I got a witness? Yeah. 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 Amen. Talk. If you would be honest with me and yourself this morning, because God already knows. Yeah, he does. Amen. There comes a time in our life when we wish we could do this over again. I told my oldest daughter once, I wish I had a reset button. Yeah. Yeah. Now I got a witness for life. Amen. Yeah. And some of the things I went through that I've done, I wish I could push that reset button. Yeah. And just start all over again. Amen. Right. Marry Amen. different. You know, have kids different. Just, yeah. you know, a whole lot of things. Yeah. I was in the Air Force. I mm -hmm. stayed in the Air Force for 20 years and retired in good shape. Amen. 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 But we don't have a reset button. No. <laughs> we can't we can't push a button and start over again. This is the life yeah. that we have chosen. Yeah. Maybe not the one that God has chosen for us, but this is the life that we have chosen for us. Yeah. But how many of you know God don't make mistakes? Well, yeah, Amen. Right. The Bible says we were predetermined from birth what and who we should be. Amen. Yeah. Amen. God determined yeah. before we were born that we would.
would have a good life. Mm -hmm. Now, there comes a time along the way we may have caused that to alter because we decided to do it our way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. We had that famous Burger King slogan, have it your yeah. way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. God say do it this way, but I'm going to have it my way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah, the prophet, the Bible says he's a weeping prophet, and the reason he wept is because Jeremiah didn't have one of them, God promised you a Cadillac. <laughs> or he gonna bless you with a, with a two story house. Uh -huh. That was Jeremiah. <laughs> when you saw Jeremiah coming, you know it wasn't oh, good. Man. Amen. Amen. <laughs> if you were smiling, the smile wiped off your face. Because yeah. yeah. you're gonna hear from that doomsday preacher right now, that, that hell fine brimstone mm -hmm. preacher. Because yeah. Jeremiah didn't tell them a lot of good stuff. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, it was, but it wasn't what they wanted to hear. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of times, the preacher will say some things to us that we didn't feel like it was good. Because it didn't feel good, it didn't sound good, it wasn't really what I wanted to happen in my life right now. But it's good for you. Yeah. The Bible says, Romans 8 and 28, you know it well, it's one of them go-to scriptures for the saints. Mm -hmm. And we know all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord, to them who are yes, called yes, according yes. to his purpose. Well, Amen. 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 We, we lean on that. And there's a few others that we call go-to scriptures for, for church folks. Amen. Yeah. But Jeremiah was a prophet that when you saw Jeremiah coming, you know God was sending you a word. Yeah. Amen. I didn't get up this morning with something on my mind to speak to you. Actually, the Lord gave this to me. Yeah. And I'm sharing it with you. Yeah. Now, I'm 69 years old, so I ain't naive enough to think nobody else in here needed this but me. Yeah. Amen. Uh -huh. But the Bible says he, he calls Jeremiah... To go down to the potter's house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, sometimes we get so big, Deacon Hayes, that, you know, we, we have to come back down sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, we get holier than thou. Mm -hmm. and, you know, it's, it's two Christians that I try to stay away from. Mm -hmm. A sad Christian mm -hmm. and a holier than thou. Mm -hmm. They so heavenly minded, they ain't no earthly good. And I just don't believe God allowed his son to come and go through all that he went through and to die for us to be saved. You yeah. gotta be sad. You just can't get me to buy that. Yeah. Amen. I, I, I know Jesus was serious when he did what he did, but I can imagine somewhere along the way, him and them boys, you know, they might have cracked a joke or two. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Come Amen. Because yeah. Jesus didn't want us to be sad. What sense would it make to squire? For Jesus to come down through 40 through generations to go through all that he went through and to die and go to hell and come back from hell and bring those out of hell that was there. Amen. And to get up on get up in heaven and wait on us to get there for, for us to be saved. Yeah. Amen. The problem is we allow the cares of this life and the world to heap things up on us mm -hmm. to where it becomes heavy to us. Amen. 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 Brothers, I, the women ain't talking to me. Brothers, we, we get jobs. Come on. So we can do whatever they need us to do. Amen. We made that promise, baby. I'm going to take care of you. Yeah. Whatever you want. Mm. <laughs> and, and one day she called you on it. Yeah, yeah. I can tell that for the truth. That's how I ended up in Kerrville. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got in one day. She said, come on, take a ride with me. I said, okay. <laughs> we rode about 15 miles. And she said, I want to move. Ooh, ain't a problem. A bunch of houses in Dallas. <laughs> she said, I want to move to Hill Country. And I'm going, Hill Country? Where is that? <laughs> it ain't Louisville. It ain't Lancaster. It ain't Grand Prairie. I pulled it up on the phone. I said, oh, my God. <laughs> so here I am. <laughs> but how many of you know God? has things in place and in plan That's that's right. That that's you right. never would have imagined. That's I never right. would have imagined I'd be in Kerrville and certainly not at Mount Olive Baptist Church. Mm -hmm. Amen. But God Amen. blessed me to be here and certainly it's a blessing. I consider it to be an honor Amen. to be not filling the shoes of Pastor Deeds but standing in why he's not here because I can never fill his shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I tell you Amen. all the time I'm better at being me than I am being anybody else yeah. that I know. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. So what you see, as they say, <laughs> some of y'all older than I am. You can finish that. <laughs> but the Bible says God calls Jeremiah to rise up. But then he also calls him to go down mm. to the potter's house. Mm -hmm. and, and if you understand what God does, God's ways in dealing with nations and kingdoms 
begins with us in verse 1 and 2. Verse 1 says, the word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause thee to hear my words. Yes, yes. I didn't come here this morning with a with a sermon that I had already pre-wrote out for the church of Mount Olive. Amen. The prophet is sent to the potter's house not to preach a sermon, but to prepare a sermon. Yes, sir. Or rather to receive it ready prepared. Yes, sir. So when God spoke this to me, Sister Cryer, he didn't tell me to give it to Mount Olive. Amen. He said, Irvin, mm -hmm. you need to get up, go down to the father's house. Uh -huh. I need to work on you. I need to do a little fixing. You know, you, know, you got a little rusty there, time, place or two. You know, you, you're doing some things that you feel like it's okay, but it ain't all right with me. Yes. Well. Amen. We find ourselves sometimes doing things that we think is okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because we didn't ask the Lord. Now, once we get in and we make a mess out of it, then we go to the Lord. Yeah. But before we did that, we decided this was it. This is where it's going to go. This is how I'm going to do it. Have I got a witness in the Yes, yes, yes. Amen. So we journey out. We venture off to do what we think we can do. Well, well. But the prophet Jeremiah realized that God is not sending me to the potter's house. All right. So I can teach the potter anything. God is not even sending me to the potter's house. So I can prophesy what the potter needs to know. God is sending me to the potter's house. So he can teach me what I need to know. Some of you thought you just got up this morning to come to church because it was normally what you do. But I, I, I beg to differ. The Lord sent you here to Mount Island Baptist Church. Today is the potter's house. Well, and the Lord has a work to do, not on me, myself, and I, but on all of us. Yes, yes, Because yeah. if the truth be told, we all have sinned and come short of the glory of, the glory of God. Yes, yes, Now, yes. that scripture didn't say y'all, it said all. All, sir. So we're all included yes, sir. in having sinned and come short of the glory of God. Yes, yes, As yes. a matter of fact, that's why Jesus did what he did, because he knew we, we, we that matter of fact, in the, in the Greek, that means right. continuation mm -hmm. of sin. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It wasn't the fact that we were going to sin one time and that was it, Brother Kenny. <laughs> Jesus knew we were going to mess up over mm -hmm. and over yes, sir. and over again. Yeah, yeah. So he made preparation to take care of us when we mess up over <laughs> and over and over again. But God did not permit us to be here today to hear a sermon from Reverend Walker, but to hear a word from the Lord. Because yes, uh -huh. the word from the Lord says Jeremiah went down to the potter's house. Uh -huh. Don't push me, I'm gonna get there. <laughs> I, I don't I don't in other words, God is saying, I don't need to go to the seminary. Well, all right, all right. I don't need to go to a leadership conference. Well, no, God said, I want you to go down to the potter's house. Yeah. Well, and there I'll give you a message and says, I want you to be in my olive. This morning. Yeah. So I can handle that you've been trying to deal with. Yeah. And I can take care of that you've been falling on. Yeah. Amen. God knows what we are doing and where we are. Yes. As a matter of fact, one portion of scripture out there, 65 and 24 says, and it shall come to pass mm -hmm. that before they call, I will answer. Yeah. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. Yes. So in other words, God already knows what your problem is. Yeah. yeah. He already knows what you're dealing with. Yeah. Yeah. As a matter of fact, he already knows where you are right now. Yeah. 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 You know, through the week, Monday through Saturday, that's six days. Yeah. Yeah. We got Sunday, that's one day. We show sure up going to straighten up. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Before we get to church, and especially on the first Sunday. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because we heard him in the pledge, or we heard him in the reading, how the Lord let us examine ourselves. Yeah. yeah. Because that's a holy thing that we get to do today. Mm -hmm. And the Lord is saying, before we get to the drinking of the wine and the eating of the bread, check yourself out. That's yeah. right. The scripture says, let a man examine himself. Yeah. 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 And let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. Yeah. For he that eat it and drink it unworthily is guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. Amen. What does yeah. that mean, preacher? That means if you messed up last night. Huh. Come on. Come on. Come on. I ain't telling you not to take communion. <laughs> but before you take it, yeah. have a little talk with Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. And songs say, tell him all about your problems. That's right. 
<laughs> Tell him what you did last night and how sorry you are today, and then go ahead and take communion. Amen. Yeah, yeah. But that, that's why the word says, let a man examine himself. Yes, right. I, I don't know where Deacon Hayes is. That ain't my problem. Amen. Yeah, yeah. My problem is me and oh, with me. Right. Yes, yes. Amen. So when I get it right for me, God will take care of the rest. Well, but he sent Jeremiah down to the potter's house like he sent you today to the potter's house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At verse 3 says, Then I went down to the potter's house. All right. Saying, Behold, which we look. Mm -hmm. He wrought a work on the wheel. Yeah. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now you do know marred means to ruin or diminish the perfection or wholeness or damaged. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. In, in other words, God know we messed up, brother. Yeah. Jesus. What's that they say? He know we tore up from the floor. Mm. Yeah. Amen. He, he, know, he know our issues. You know, and, and, and Minister Goodlow, we love to get in church, and the first thing we holler when we do something, oh, God know my heart. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Amen, like. Amen. But yes, he know your heart, too. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think many of you any older than I am, but the devil knew my heart for over 30-something years. Mm. Yeah. And he know yours, too. Yeah. Right. Amen. Yeah. Why do you think you get mad? <laughs> it's not because Jesus told you to get mad. Yeah. It's because the devil knew which button to push. That's yeah. right. That's well, right. Amen. Yeah. We all got a button. We all got a Clint Eastwood put it this way. Clint Eastwood said, man got to know his limitations. Yes, yeah. Sir. <laughs> we know where we are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We know what we can stand and what we can't stand. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm praying yeah. every day. I'm praying that Jesus will get me to that turn the other cheek stage. Instead of going in the console of my truck. Ah. <laughs> Amen. So, you know, I ain't going to put myself in a position, Deacon Hayes, uh, where I have to turn another cheek. I'm trying yeah. to tell Because I might not be at the turning of the cheek stage mm -hmm. yet. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, hard. Y'all know what y'all say. Be, be yeah. patient with me. God ain't through with me yet. Well, yeah. well, he ain't got me out of the console yet. Amen. <laughs> but God understands where we are. And the devil does too. Yeah. Yes. Have you ever noticed that when you when you're doing, you know, not exactly right, uh -huh. <laughs> I'm being nice, I could call you out. But you know when you when you're doing not exactly what you should be doing. Well, yeah. You know, and, yeah. and and you know don't really have any issues mm -hmm. from the devil. He just leave you alone. No, let me put it this way, Deacon Hayes. I, I, I know some of them have been to the club I have. Mm -hmm. I don't go anymore. But have you ever gone to the club and the devil tell you to get out? Uh -huh. Huh? Yeah, How many times have he told you to leave church, though? Yeah, yeah. All that right. That topic right at me. All I don't right. know who told him about me, but that ain't none of his business, no way. He would go to the pulpit and tell everybody about it. You know, I, 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 just, I wish they'd leave me alone on social media. Get out of my business, leave my life alone. But you still they posted your business yeah. in your life. Yeah. They couldn't be in it if you hadn't told them about it. But that's the same way with the devil. He knows your business yeah. in your life. And the reason he's in it is because you allow him to be in it. Amen. The Bible says God gives us power to overcome all the works of the devil. Yeah. Amen. What yeah. the scripture said, if you drink any deadly thing, it shall not harm you. It shall tread on serpents. Yeah. Amen. That's power. Yeah. Glory to God. But in order to have that power, you got to go to the potter's house. Yes. Yes. And, 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 and let him make you over again. Mm -hmm. you, I know you've seen a potter work with clay. Or you work with clay coming up in school. Because mm -hmm. back in school, they didn't have tablets and iPads. My brother, when we were back there, hey man, you had a number three pencil and a piece of paper. That was two pages. And, and, and for right. activities, you had clay. Yeah. Hey man, came in a little round container, you know, pour it out. Amen. And you take a clay and you beat it up. Yes, sir. And you get it flat like you want it to be. Anybody out there feel me? Yes, sir. Amen. <laughs> and once you got it flat the way you want it to be, then you start trying to make stuff out of it. I know he don't know nothing about that. He don't know. Play it play though. Play though. You start trying to make stuff out of it. Yes, sir. Amen. So you take it. They had a wheel back there. And you set it on that wheel and it starts spinning. And you take your hand and you begin to form it the way you want it to be. Like God does us when he takes us to the potter's house. Yes, yes. Amen. He takes his hand and the Bible says when he created us. Back in the book of Genesis, the Bible says he stooped down and scooped up 
up sand, not even dirt. <laughs> Scooped up sand yeah. and mm -hmm. formed it into a man's body. And after he had done that, the Bible said he breathed into him. And man became a living soul. So what God wants to do with us today is he want to take and beat us up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Flatten us out. Yes, Take us back to Straight Street where we came from. Yes, sir. Glory to God, when you first got saved and the joy of the Lord was really your strength. Uh -huh. Back when you first got saved and you opened your eyes in church after being on the altar or wherever you were. Mm -hmm. Glory to God, and the light seemed brighter than it was when you came in. Yeah. Glory to God, because you had got rid of that heavy load that you had. Yeah. So the Bible lets us know today that God is making provisions. Yes, he is. For not church folks, yeah. they want to stay the same. Yeah. But for saints of God, yeah. they want to change and have a better life. Yeah. Glory to God. It, it don't make no difference how long you've been going in the wrong direction. Mm, that's right. Glory to God. You can always turn around that's and right. get back on the right road that you need to be on. Yeah. Glory to God. Because if the truth be told, we all have strayed away from God yeah. at some time or another. Yeah. Yes. Amen. We're Amen. human. Amen. Temptation is great. Yes. Praise the Lord. And then some of us, the pandemic caused us to be marred. Mm -hmm. Amen. Some of us allowed people in our lives to cause us to be marred. Yeah. Praise the Lord. I, I don't know about you, but I learned a while ago that friends don't cause you to do crazy, stupid stuff. Mm -hmm. Amen. Friends don't want to see you hurt or back in the problems that you were in before. No. Amen. A real friend wants to keep you out of trouble. Yeah. Jesus said that uh, the Bible says there is a friend that's sticking closer yeah. than a brother. Yeah. The Bible says his name is Jesus. Jesus. Well, yes. Glory yeah. to God. The Bible says what manner of love is this that a man would lay down his life for a friend? Yeah. Glory to God. Here is Jeremiah down at the potter's house. Yeah. Trying to get a word from the Lord. Yeah. Glory to God. It's good to go to seminary. I ain't knocking that. Mm -hmm. But when you go to seminary, you're getting what man is trying to give you. Yeah, that's right. Well, amen. But when you go mm -hmm. to the pot of salad, yeah. glory to God is when you get exactly what God amen. would have you to need. Yes. Praise the Lord. God don't want us to be sad saints with no money, no dreams, or no hope. Yeah. Glory to God. He don't have a problem with you driving the new car. Yeah. Amen. He don't have a problem with you having a million dollars in the bank. Yeah. Amen. The Bible doesn't say money is the root of all evil. Oh, the Bible right. says the love, love of money, money yeah. is the root yeah. of all evil. And he yeah. could have taken that a little farther, the love of people. Yeah. Huh. Ah. Sometimes is the root of all evil. That's right. Amen. Sometimes we put people in the place of God. Yeah. Yes, Amen. And we begin to love and serve them more than we love and serve the Lord. Yeah. Praise the Lord. So Jeremiah is letting us know. And when he gets to that third verse, the Bible says, Then I went down to the potter's house. Yeah. And behold, he wrought a work on the wheels. Come on. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he made it again another vessel. Mm -hmm. And seemed good to the potter to make it. Yeah. In other words, Lord. Make me over again. Yeah. Glory to God, I want to be all that you've called me to be. Yeah. I want to do all that you've called me to do. Yeah. Glory to God, I know that I've sinned and come short back days ago. Matter of fact, even just last night, I may have messed up. Say, but Lord, you declared in your word yes, sir. that you wouldn't hold it against me. Yes, the Bible says if I confess my faults. He's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins yeah. and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. He would not have put that in, Sister so Debbie, if it wasn't needed for us sometime down the line. Yes, Amen. I, I know we all, you know, been saved, been in church 20, 30 years. I've, I've been in church ever since 1989. Mm -hmm. Amen. I got in church in 1989. The Lord finally saved me in 1991 <laughs> when I decided to give it up, brother. <laughs> Amen. Up Amen. until then, I was just happy to be off drugs. Amen. 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 Was happy to be off of alcohol. Mm -hmm. Was so sure happy them cigarettes wasn't killing me no more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. So I was just happy to be in, in church, mm -hmm. brother Craig. You know, I was I still, you know, had my ways. Amen. I, I yeah. you know, still polished up the car. Amen. And rolled yeah. around the corner and everything. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> Lord. Oh, <wow. laughs> now I got a witness. All right. Y'all looking at me strange. Yeah, yeah. 
If I start calling out some songs, some of you will start humming and pat your feet right now. Because, you know, we all had one. Man was diamond in the back, sunroom top, digging the scene with a gangster lead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. But God took me from diamond in the back sun rooftop. So I love to praise him. Yes, yes. 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 I love Thank to you. praise his name. Yes, yes. He's yes. my rock, my sword, and my shield. Yes, yes. He's yes. my wheel in the yes. middle of the wheel. Yes, he is. That's why I love to praise him, because he's been better to me yes. than I've been to myself. Yeah. Yes, yes. Glory to God, I can't be good enough to me as God is to me. Yes. Yes. Praise the Lord, when I was sick, he healed me. Yeah. When I got shot, he raised me up. Yeah. When I was addicted, he healed me from my addicted drugs. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. When I was hooked on alcohol, Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. glory to God, I had to wake up in the morning with a beer. Yeah. Go to bed with a beer. Yeah. Glory to God, but God fixed all that. Uh -huh. When I used to have to suck on two packs of cigarettes a day, yeah. knowing that they were destroying me every minute of the day. Yeah. Yeah. But the Lord delivered me from that. Yes, yeah. it is. Glory to God. And I, I didn't go to AA to one of them 12 step programs. Yeah, Amen. Because I didn't have no money, didn't have no insurance. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I went to a little old church that I could consider the potter's house. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God, one Sunday evening. Yes, sir. And I got in the prayer line. Uh -huh. yeah. Not really believing God could help me. Yeah. Yeah. One of them little old Pentecostal churches. You know, where they call them at the home at the mouth and all that crazy stuff. Yeah. Stay in church all day. You know what I mean. That's true. You, you pass by one and laugh that way. Yeah. Rolling, rolling the floor, get carpet all in your hands. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's true. Amen. And Sister Debbie, I had a lot of pride. You know, I like the stuff, clothes and stuff. Don't mess me up. <laughs> so the first thing the Lord did when I got in the prayer, I was laid me out. I got up all embarrassed. <laughs> trying to make sure that nobody see me deep. <laughs> you know, pride. Mm -hmm. My mother and I used to well anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. But you know, we, we, we put so many things before God and, and, and we allow so many petty things. Yes. yes. Amen. Yes. E even people. We we busy trying to impress folks. That's right. Yes, yes. That we don't even yeah, care yeah. about. Yes, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Amen. Amen. You know, we just want them to see what who we are, what we have. Mm. You know, I don't try to impress nobody. That's right. Amen. What I wear is I wear it because I like it. I don't care whether you like it or not. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now, if you went and bought me something, you could tell me what to do with it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I'm retired, so I don't I don't even work for Boys and Cascade no more. They can't tell me what to do. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. The only two people can tell me what to do is the Lord and that little woman at 47. 56 go free road. <laughs> I move faster for the Lord, but I move when she say move. Amen. <laughs> but we spend so much time and energy trying to impress people. Yes. And the only person we need to impress is God. Amen. And all we have to do to impress him is just believe his word. Amen. And trust him. Yes. Amen. He don't mind us going to the doctor, but don't ever think the doctor can heal you. Huh. They treat what you have and they keep treating it until you out of here. Yeah. Amen. But Amen. God can heal you. Yes. Oh yes, he can. Yes. I'm a witness. Amen. They diagnosed yeah. me with Hep C back in 2010. Mm -hmm. I went from 164 pounds to 121 pounds. I used to have to go to the doctor every Friday at 4 o'clock, and they draw a pint of blood off me because I had high, high iron level, and it was burning the hairs off my body mm -hmm. from the inside out. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I had been preaching, Sister Debbie, but I had been preaching God can heal you because I knew folks that God had healed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had never been sick. I had never been sick a day in my life until I got to be 57 years old. Fell well. Apart. Amen. Laid Amen. down one night in good shape, Brother Cry. I got up the next morning about to run into the wall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. That little woman at 47, 56, go crease it. That's it. You ain't going to work today. You're going to the doctor. Yes. And that started a process of them trying to figure out what in the world was going on with me. Yes. Yeah. Amen. And, and they were figuring it, it was a uh, physical thing. Amen. But I knew what it was. Mm -hmm. I was shambling in church. So what does that preach? I was faking and shaking. Mm -hmm. ah. Amen. Was All preaching right. to folks, telling them God can deliver, God can heal, mm, and right. do whatever I felt like I wanted to do. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody in here ever been like, y'all ain't, ain't transparent, y'all ain't, I don't care what you think. Amen. I know who I am and who God is. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And brother, brother Bidlow, for three and a half months, they were steadily sticking me and drawing blood, trying to figure out what in the world is going on with this fellow. And that was my primary care physician and other specialists. I finally went to a gastroenterologist. What did that preach? A gut specialist. Yeah. Amen. And this man figured this out within about 45 minutes of us sitting there talking. Mm -hmm. Amen. But at Amen. the time, they didn't have a cure for hep C. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, they just found a cure for it not too many years ago. Uh -huh. Up until then, you were doomed to die. Mm -hmm. Well. Amen. I was 124 pounds, sister crying, but I never stopped working. Yeah. And I figured since I never stopped working, I never stopped going to church. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So Amen. I do church Amen. Tuesday nights, Friday nights, Sunday morning, Sunday night. Well, Amen. Amen. My wife would load me in the car, drive me to church. I'd get up and preach, sweat, I almost pass out. She'd put me back in the car and take me back home. Mm -hmm. I'd go to bed, get up, go to work the next morning. Mm -hmm. Only by the grace of God. Yes. Uh -huh. Amen. But after I really figured out what was going on with me, Brother Payne, Amen. And I knew it wasn't just, just a physical thing because mm -hmm. I was shaking and faking. Amen. It ain't good to play in church. Yeah, not. You may get by us, but God knows. Yes, right. yes, oh, yes, 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 he does. Yes. He does. He know you're right and he know when you're wrong. Yeah. Well. And after I finally got down on my knees one night, closed the door and shut the family out and had a little talk with Jesus. Yes. I yes. said, so, Lord, I know I'm messed up. Mm -hmm. and if you take me, that'll be okay. Mm -hmm. But I made a deal with the Lord. <laughs> I said, I got three little grandkids uh -huh. that I would at least like to see get to high school. Yes, yeah. Yeah. It ain't got to be about me, God. I know I done messed up. I know I ain't worth two cents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you take me out of here now, it's justified. Yeah. Yeah. So, but for my granddaughters, one of them sitting right there now, Yeah. if you just allow me to see that. Yes. Amen. And God Amen. did just that. A few years later, they found a cure for hep C. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't afford the meds. And he, he opened the door for that, gave me favor there. Mm. Yeah. The man's supposed to be $4,000. I ended up paying $40 something. Well, How man. many of you know God is good? Yeah. God is good. Yeah. There, is, there is no greater love yeah. than the love that God has for us. Yeah. He don't love us because we're good enough to be loved. Yeah. He loves us in spite of us. Spite of us. Glory to yeah. God. And you see folks in church, come on, yeah. you see folks in church, come on. amen, and they want you to think that everything is going well. Well, yeah. yeah. Praise the Lord. Well, I've learned down through the years, Sister mm -hmm. Debbie, that there's two kind of praises in church. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, amen. There's one that praises him because of. Yes, yes, yes. I'm yes. praising you, God, because you done blessed me with everything that I want. Yes, yes, yes. I'm praising you because you done done everything I wanted you to do for yes, me. Yes. That's a because of praise. Yes. But there's yes. also a praise that's an in spite of. Yes. 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 I don't know about you, but an in spite of praise is a greater one. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. God, I'm praising you in spite of what's falling down around me. Yes. My God, I'm praising you in spite of what my health is today. Yes. God, I'm praising you in spite of what the church folks are saying. Yes. Yeah. Glory to God, I'm praising yeah. you in spite of all the misery mm. in my life. Yes, yeah. Glory to God, it may not be no sunshine in your life right now, but hang on in there. Yeah. Yeah. My grandmama used to say, behind every dark cloud, yeah. there's a silver lamp. Yes. Amen. I don't care where you are right now today in your life. Yeah. But if you just hold on and keep oh. doing what you do. Yes, yeah. Keep serving God the way you serve. Yeah. Keep coming to church when the doors are open. Yeah. Keep praying at night when you need to pray. Yeah. Keep loving folks that hate your guts. Yeah. Keep yeah. telling folks they're doing good when you know they're doing bad. Yeah. But don't ever let the devil tell you to get out of church. Yeah. Don't ever let the devil tell you that this ain't doing you no good. Yeah. Glory to God, you were doing better when you wasn't saved. Yeah. When you wasn't saved, at least you had somebody to give you something or give you a beer every now and then. Yeah. Yeah. But not to say them church folks don't care nothing about you. Yes, yes, yes. Them church folks don't care nothing about you at all. Glory to God. Yeah. But God loves you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. In spite of you. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, when God so loved the world yes, yes. that he gave his only begotten son yes, yes. that whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Well, well. 17, the one we always miss, that God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world yeah. but that the world through him might be saved. Yeah. The Bible says whosoever should call on the name of the Lord yeah. shall be saved. Yeah. So I don't know about you but you came to the potter's house today. Yeah. I don't know what you came for but God did. 
Yeah. Yeah. But I know if you accept what God said this morning, yeah. you'll leave here better than you came. Yeah. Yeah. Songwriter said you won't leave here like you came. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Broke, busted, disgusted, ready to throw your hands up. Yeah. But if you throw your hands up, tell the Lord thank you. Yeah. In spite of you not having what you're thanking him for. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says Abraham calls those things that be not as though they were. Yeah. In other words, whatever it is you need, just declare it and claim it right now. God, I need a healing right now. God, I need deliverance right now. Praise the Lord. See, we need to open the door like the preacher said last time. He over and kick the devil out. Some of us been letting the devil live in our house for so long, he done took up residence. Yes, yes, yes. Amen, Amen. Yeah. He, he tell us what to do. Yeah. Yeah, get up, go to bed, shut up, sit down. <laughs> Amen. But how many of you know the devil is alive? Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. The Bible said we should receive power. Well, yes. Dunamis power. Yes. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. That's right. Amen. Amen. And you yes. should be witnesses for the Lord. Yes. The yes. day is Mary in the uttermost parts of the earth. Uh -huh. So what are we supposed to do, preacher? We're supposed to witness. That's and right. praise God. Yes, yes. And God takes care of the rest. Yes, right. Amen. It, you know, it wasn't intended for us to work. Well. Thanks, thanks to them animals in the garden. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We ended up having that work. Yeah. Women wouldn't have to have to go through nine months of struggling and straining and not seeing their feet. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. But because of them atoms in the garden. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you mean Adam and Eve? No, I mean Adam. The Bible says when they sinned and God came looking for them. Yes. I might duck behind you, says one. <laughs> and God came looking for them. He said, Adam, yeah. where art thou? Yeah. Yes, yeah. He didn't say Adam and Eve. Adam. Yeah. The Bible says Adam named Eve after they sinned, got kicked out of the garden. And I'm through with that. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter 2, verse 5. Check it out. <laughs> yes, sir. Amen. In, in Genesis. I'm sorry. In Genesis. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. But God didn't intend for us to go through what we go through now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. It was after we after they sinned in the garden mm -hmm. that this came upon us. Yeah. Amen. But he even made he even fixed that. Uh -huh. Yes, he did. He sent Jesus after that. Yeah. To die for our sins. Yes. yes. Amen. We just celebrated it two weeks ago. Yes, the Bible says they, they crucified him. Yes. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hung him on a cross. Yes. Between two thieves. Oh yes, my God. Amen. Whipped Amen. him, beat him, spit yeah. him in the side, tortured him. Lord. Amen. But he Amen. didn't complain like we do. The Bible says he never said a mummy word. Yes, Amen. He just Amen. took what his father allowed to come up on him. Yes. So don't ever think when things happen to you that it's all the time the devil. Amen. Amen. Sometimes the Lord is allowing you to go through. Yes. And on his church season, put it this way. Going through is better than being stuck. So in yeah, order yes, to yes, get yes. through, you in order yeah. to get to, you got to go through. Yes, right. In order to get to God, we got to go through some things. Yes, yes, yes. Cry, but it ain't over. It ain't over. Well. God ain't finished with us yet. No, he's not. Amen. 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 I, I figure at 69, I'll preach another 20 years, and then I'll give it up. How about that? <laughs> Amen. So God bless y'all. I thank you for sitting there patiently listening to me ramble and go on. <laughs> Amen. But God loves us. Yes, sir. And he has a fix for every problem that we have in life. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Believe it, he does. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise God. And since I'm up here, and they, they stuck my name on here, at this time... <laughs> At this time, we're going to open the doors of the church. Amen. 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 Maybe you need prayer for something that's going on in your life. Mm -hmm. Amen. You don't You don't have to tell me. You can just come up. And the Lord already know, and we'll just pray for you to pray for you. Amen. Amen. But I believe the Lord will let me know what I need to pray for you for. That's, mm -hmm. that's what I believe. That's how I believe. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Amen. Maybe you've been coming and, and seem like we, we haven't open the doors to the church for you to become an official member. Amen. I feel that. Amen. Amen. Don't y'all mess with me. Amen. And, and over here, Pastor Deeds is not really traditional. He does things kind of different than, than some uh, Baptist churches. But I love the way he do. He allows the Spirit of God Amen. to
to do what God does and what only God can do. So if you would like to become an official member, that's good. If you'd like for us, you know, to get you right in the fellowship, if you will allow us to do that next Sunday, since we're going to do the Lord's Supper today. Amen. But I, I, I feel you. I, I really do. Uh, I'll give the Pastor Diggs, and, and we'll certainly do that next Sunday. So that's another reason for you to come back next Sunday. Amen. Amen. So, but God loves us, and he desires the best for us. Amen. Amen. He sent his best for us, that we could have the best. Amen. He does not intend of us, intend for us to lack in anything. We shouldn't want for nothing. Especially since God had everything. The Bible says the cattle on a thousand years. The long hand scripture say the earth is the Lord's. And the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. How am I doing so long, baby? Amen. But God, God, God loves us. Amen. He loves us to eternity. Amen. There's no end to his love. The Bible said he has unfeigned love for us. So if you need prayer, if you'd like to come up for prayer, God bless you, brother Allen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. I, I, I learned, Brother Jerome, even being a preacher, if I'm sitting out there and somebody call a prayer line, I need prayer. I'm getting up in the prayer line. I don't care what you say. <laughs> Amen. I was a little dirty kid growing up. I was a dirty but not the last year. So I'm used to folks talking about it. That ain't no big deal. I am that. Amen. Praise the Lord. But the Lord is saying today, come. We had a song I said, come to Jesus. Wow. You have a good chance. So he will make your life brand new. God will take care of you. Come to Jesus. Wow. You have a chance. pray for you.
San Antonio. Mm -hmm. And in the morning, I got to go down and try to get his body sent back home. Mm -hmm. It's been around and around. Mm -hmm. God bless me. I ain't come up here to ask for no donation. Wouldn't accept it if he did. But mm -hmm. God bless me financially, too. So. Yes, sir. But I just wanted the church to know. But George Peru, uh, when my brother had that stroke, there's some good people in the world, and I know that. Mm -hmm. He offered to drive me home and, mm -hmm. and went to come back and get me. Mm -hmm. And day yesterday, Sister Celia Lewis, how she knew, she texted me and called me and offered to transport me to Louisiana to that funeral if I need to go. Mm -hmm. That's all I wanted to say because it touched me. Yes, sir. Yes. yes sir. You don't know who was thinking about you. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. A lot of work family up there at the been on my side. Yes, sir. You know. I just had to say something because it made heavy on my heart. Yes, yes. So I'm here by myself and so mm -hmm. I'm trying to find people to care about you. And I had to just say, I had to say something. Yes, sir. And I hope y'all accept that. Amen. Yes. Pray for me. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, s
your name down, the birthday or and your anniversary, that know that way we all know and still say, well whose birthday is this and whose birthday is that, we can all have it right here on in the church. That way we'll know when your birthday, your anniversary, and your name, if y'all want to do this. Thank My wife you. has made this up so Amen. it makes it a little bit more easy. Amen. That's Amen. it. It's gonna be in the back of the church if y'all yeah, want to. Yeah, because we, we need to know who's over the hill and who's not. Amen. 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 